Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy who lived in a blue world and all day and all night and every- SHUT UP! SHUT <laughs> UP! SHUT IT! BE QUIET! Hey Broncos, we're here with Pony Express. I'm Peter McNeil and this is Jack Rose. Jack, you got any news for the folks? Michael's, our beloved on-campus restaurant, changes its name to Miguel's to welcome the Argentinians. Did they really? That was a goof. That was just a goof. <laughs> You're just trying to be funny. I was. It didn't work. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny though. <laughs> <laughs> I got a list of jokes. You got like twenty. Of them. I don't know, there's like I can't. I that's was, classic though. I have a lot of alone time in my house. No, that's. Yeah. Well, like I, I thought. Usually, I ask you to hang out. I had a thing. Oh. Uh, I had a thing. Okay. Also, I just have one more announcement. Um, Peter Favor? Sure, you're a great guy, but you're throwing everything off. Every, I, I go up to say, pray for and it's. I'm so ready to say pray for I us. I know, because like, I'm ready to pray. I want to pray for us, my friends, and Peter Favor. It's like... Wasn't he... He played for the Dallas Cowboys, right? I think the more modern saints are typically pro-athletes. So today we'll be interviewing the new rap group, Funky. They've been sweeping Brophy's steps since the fine arts extravaganza, and Jack's got some really good questions for him. So let's put our hands together for Funky. I'm Jack Rose, and we are in the saddle with Funky. Speaking of, I've, I have some rap terms that I've been hearing a lot of, and I just want you to clarify what they mean. Um, cinnamon. I believe... Um, it originated in India, and uh, it's a spice. There, I didn't know that. Did you guys? Um, did you know that? Mostly. I didn't. Uh, trill. Trill. That's a uh, that's a domesticated shrimp. Baseball is to home runs as rapping is to home runs. So you are both rappers. Um, how well does McDonald's pay? We like that fifteen dollar minimum wage initiative. We we do like we are fans of that. Yeah. All yeah, right. So, uh, it's not permanent, but you know. Are you sure about that, though? Yeah, I mean, like once, because like they say that the executives they start a lot of them start, you know, flipping. Mm. So like, yeah, start right. there. <laughs> yeah. Are either of you dyslexic, and why? Pock or Biggie, and what are those? Are you bound to rapping? What would Jerome Romy Rome think? Does rapping make you stronger with all the, f the flexing? Is there, uh, is there confusion when you walk into a room with your friends and pets, such as, hey dog, and hey dog? Most of my pets only speak Spanish exclusively, so that's never an issue. When you step foot into a church, do you feel guilty for promoting violence and gang involvement? Oh, no, no. Well, um... You know, we've been called up for christenings, and uh, we also do baptisms. Yeah, we've done a few baptisms. We um, recently we actually sang during uh, the Eucharist. So you know, we're uh, we're kind of all around in that that area. That's good. That's very good yeah. to hear. Next question: How do you two live with yourselves? What is your least favorite charity, and why? What's that one that Kobe started? I believe you're thinking of Make-A-Wish. All right, Broncos, you heard it here first. An exclusive interview with Funky. You know this year, we're trying to ball. When you got a dope team, there's a chance. You look like Justin Timberlake. You look like Justin Timberlake, <laughs> man. You got that 2020 thing oh, going. Oh, man, dude, you just better, like, step on a disco ball. I, I just might. I okay. just might. Okay, Broncos, from Justin Timberlake circa 2006 and Justin Timberlake circa 2013, have a good day. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da da ba dee